hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jemila Dora thank you for clicking to watch this video if you are new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber hi so today I want to do a traditional face um, face care my face is currently shedding um, it is currently shedding around my nose around my the side of my face and I'm currently also experiencing skin purge so I'm trying to kind of recover you know bring my bring life back to my skin, my body, my face. So um, that is why I've been using a lot of um, products to help exfoliate both chemically and um, mechanically. So today I just want to focus on using traditional skincare. I have missed using traditional skincare. So what we're going to be using today is um, Dilka. This is going to be available for you guys to order very soon um but yeah we are still working on branding the second product we're going to be using today is also green algae this is also going to be available to order this is green algae aka spirulina this is like a powerhouse super green um food for the body and for the skin most especially for the skin a lot of people are using it for the skin and to finish off we are going to be using good old turmeric and goat milk blend i am feeling too lazy to go downstairs to get egg white but if you are going to try this at home feel free to use egg white um, it is for hydration and i don't need too much of that again so i just quickly heat up the tap water so i have half a table half a tablespoon of the dilka powder here this is what it looks like um i'm going to use hot water to mix it that is how i love to use it because it's going to serve as the major exfoliating um, ingredient today it's coarse but in a very soft way that will not be too harsh on your skin so i am adding my favorite skin care oil you know that right if you've been on this channel for however long try to tell me in the comment section before i tell you guys what oil that is i'm going to add a little bit of hot water my hand is clean so um, you don't want to soak it to make it too wet um, and I'm going to go in with my hand to crumble it up mix it with the oil properly and this is the kind of pasty um, runny consistency that you want um, the oil that I added is um argan oil you guys know i love argan oil very very much so the goal is to apply like a thin layer not thick so the reason why the deal car goes in goes on first is because like i said it's going to be a natural exfoliant don't forget to work your neck and it's going to just mildly gently allow me to remove the dead skin that has been shedding on my face if you've been to a traditional spa in nigeria you will know or have experienced this i do not let random spa use um dilka on my face because this is purely plant based like i spe specifically chose my ingredients for this so i yes dilka is plant-based but the kind of ingredients that i chose for my own blend my own mixture aren't random um some people use peanut base and i don't want peanut base so i specifically chose all i have in here but again if you're in nigeria another person i trust to have this is um essence by mk essence by Miriam Mar skincare I, I how can i forget we have a yeah essence essence by mk i'm not sure if it's mk but it's essence by Miriam. i'm going to leave the name on the screen so that you guys see but she has authentic ones that if you're in nigeria and you're looking for one that you can use on your face now the reason why I said I don't really like let people use um, you know in the spa use it on my face is because it can actually bruise if it's too hard and the base that you use you know the key ingredients will determine the consistency this loosened up very quickly 
um, into a paste, a very soft, not a very soft paste, but into a paste. Some you have to, and I didn't, my water is not like boiling hot, very, very hot. Some you have to, um, this thing then when it, it goes on your skin and it, it starts to dry down, it becomes too stretchy. Then when they start trying to remove it from your face, because even on your skin or the rest of your body, it can be very difficult to get it out. So I just want to show you guys like the, my skin have totally absorbed the moisture, which is like, the, which is definitely the nutrient. So you see how it is coming off easily. I didn't even have to rinse it. This is the stage, this is the icing on the cake when you're able to remove it and look at my hand and it's coming off like this then you know the dead skin is also together with that and the skin have absorbed the nutrient through the moisture or the water that you added. Instant smoothness, instant. Dilka will give you that instant smoothness. I guarantee you that. Please, if you've never tried this at home and you're in Nigeria, go get from um, Mariam. So this is our green algae. This is me introducing nutrients back into my skin, whatever that has been lost in this short period of time. So I'm just going to quickly drop um water into this as well i'm using warm water in all i'm using warm water in all of these that i'm doing today so this is the consistency that you want your dilke to be thicker paste compared to the sorry did i say dilke <laughs> the cur the the green algae <laughs> so this is the consistency a lot thicker than this um the dilke so you apply this also thin layer this is about half a tablespoon as well i just have missed traditional skincare on my face when you have lots of dead skin or you notice that oh your complexion have kind of deepened more than usual chances are that again you're not getting enough hydration on your skin so I did more of skin hydration. I'm still doing more of skin hydration. The key ingredient that the key products that have been helping me shed more skin is this Clarins One Step Ex Gentle Exfoliation Cleanser. This is magic. This is amazing. This was the product I used when I traveled in December and it didn't even look like in short I had to stop using it midway because it was now over exfoliating my skin which i didn't want so because this one is just nutrients reintroduction into the skin i'm just going to leave it be for like four minutes i don't have much time so to take off the green algae it's always very tricky because it dries down hard and like a mask you know see it dries down so when you're applying it apply a thin layer i'm trying to run some water apply a thin layer but one trick that i have been using to take it off is konjac sponge konjac sponge does magic just soak it like this and let me see it leaves a tint so i'm going to show you guys the magic to getting rid of this tint the konjac sponge reduces the amount of film that it actually leaves on your face i mean the towel you see it so follow these steps that i have used in this care today and finish off with a turmeric milk paste a lot of people are always like hesitant to use turmeric on their face i don't know why well i know why people feel like it leaves the stain and don't, they don't like that turmeric is not something that you have to overuse in whatever that you do i'm bringing it down here into my neck i don't mind for this one because it helps to control hair growing back it controls that when you're using turmeric <laughs> i lost my train of thought there when you're using turmeric for face for body care or anything 
you don't have to use a whole lot so imagine turmeric in your food right the way you're going to cautiously or um, use apply caution when you're using it to in your food is the same way you apply caution when you're using it on your face so when you're mixing it it's always good to have accompaniments with it you know like milk that i have here oatmeal powder rice powder something that it can grab onto it automatically kind of dilutes it if that makes sense turmeric is a great antioxidant it, it's um it all controls hair growth so every time that you take off hair from your face or from your body is good for you to follow up with a turmeric face mask or scrub i know how much i have controlled the rate at which my hair grows on my face with consistently taking it off and using turmeric to control that is anti-inflammatory so i forgot to mention that the goat skin um <laughs> the goat skin the goat's milk um, also provides um, hydration benefit like i said it could be milk it could be egg white so this is what that does i don't know if i mentioned if i mentioned it it is also um an alpha hydroxy acid so it it helps to you know over time helps move your skin help your skin move dead cells better and leave your skin brighter looking brighter so that is why we are finishing off with um these just to show you guys this is all white no stain no tint from the turmeric so i'm going to add a little bit of argan oil to my face just to seal everything that i have done yes yes i actually love my skin look at this is like skin purging it's currently raised and it's going to like go down by tomorrow so guys this is it this is just my quick three-step traditional face care i know i bring more of like the english side of things can i say the english you know the prop how will i say medicated skincare and all those things but this is also natural medicine organic medicine in its own right that work you know it works very very well so anytime you don't feel like going the whole nine yards this is very effective very very effective the products i have used three steps all in all 30 minutes at most you will get a healthy looking skin smooth well exfoliated well moisturized and by tomorrow in another 48 hours all these things that i have done today will actually begin to manifest my skin is going to be looking amazing and that is one thing i love about skincare and most especially traditional skincare which i actually do put in at least one traditional skincare in a week if, if, if i'm not doing the dilka i'm doing the green algae or i'm doing turmeric but something traditional must go on my face once in a week because i feel like it is not i know they are not synthesized i know they are straight from the source and the nutrients in it is 100 percent straight um you know organic and my skin loves organic my skin loves traditional stuff so that is it for this video let me know what you guys think are you going to give this a try um let me know in the comment section or if you have used any of these products on your face even if it's not mine or anywhere else let me know what your experience was and what you think about them um yeah see you in my next video please subscribe give this video a thumbs up bye and stay blessed